for the purpose of this video, I'm actually going to show you how to create a um, little bit of uh, less mess when you actually do an oil change. Um, I'm showing you my Toro um, 14 horsepower Proline uh, mower. Uh, it's a commercial mower. And um, my whole idea here is to show that there's a couple of issues with the oil change that would uh, cause more of a mess. And I'm going to show you how to create the least mess when you change the oil. Uh, I'm not going to show you exactly how to change the oil, but this is just showing you how to minimize the mess you create. Um, I usually put a pan under the oil filter, which you can see right there. I usually put a small pan right under here before I take the oil filter out. Um, and let me go over to the other side. You can kind of see um, the oil drain plug is right over there. And there's a little hole where the oil is supposed to come out through. But when you release this right away, the, the oil shoots out and sometimes hits this part. It doesn't go down into the opening. So what I did is I took a little metal piece. Uh, this is an old license plate I cut up. And I actually create a deflector so when you loosen up, when you actually loosen up the oil plug, it will actually uh, direct the oil directly to where it's supposed to go. Um, there's another thing you'll notice about this uh, mower. Looking down in there, you can kind of see there's a flap. There's a black flap right there. Um, if you don't have the deflector, what happens is sometimes the oil falls on the flap. Um, and then it actually drips down on the flap and onto the ground. Um, when you do the oil change, make sure you have concrete or asphalt. Do not do it on grass. Um, it's just something I do normally. I'm gonna show you where that flap is in the back. So now I'm underneath the mower. You can kind of see where the flap is. And I'm gonna kind of show you the hole where the hole is. You can kind of see the hole and the flap. Um, if you don't do this right, you could have oil dripping right onto the flap. So a couple of things I actually do here to minimize um, the mess that I create underneath. I use an oil pan. I stick the oil pan right underneath there, up to the flap. In second foil container that I actually put right underneath here. It's kind of a tight fit. Uh, you may have to lift up. What you want to do is to put this little foil container right underneath there. Um, so you're in front of the flap, so if any oil gets to the front of the flap, it's going to drip right into this oil uh, foil pan. Uh, since I don't have much clearance here, I'm having a little bit of trouble putting it in there. But you can fit it in there if you lift up the front of this lawnmower a, a bit. So that's the whole idea. Um, so. If you create a little deflector that should minimize, that'll also direct, you can also direct it directly into the pan below. You can kind of see the position of the pan, see where the edge is. You can actually direct this right into the pan in the back and not have anything fall, fall into the foil. But you would probably get some oil in the foil anyways. So that's, that's basically how you do it to minimize the oil mess on a commercial mower. I think you can do it for many different mowers.